Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and I am a collector and hoarder of makeup. And to continue to collect and hoard makeup, I did promise my spouse that I would create content. So here I am. Now, today you are going to see more of my hoard of makeup. I am going to be decluttering my liquid lipsticks. So, I have to declutter, reorganize them, and this is all of my liquid lipsticks. So, and that's all that's in here. So I still have glosses, bullet lips to go through, lip balms, lip oils, like, I probably have a ridiculous amount of lip products and I really do need to narrow it down. Some of these products I'm pretty sure are expired. If you would like to join me on this journey of decluttering and reorganizing my lipsticks, then keep on watching. All right, so, I'm gonna be doing this video a little bit differently. Um, all of my other declutters, I've kind of just like sat in front of my drawers, showed you where my drawers were and all of that. But with lipsticks, I find it, that it would be easier for you guys to see the products if they're like laid out on my desk and I am not like in the frame. You know what I mean? So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to be organizing these by brand so it makes it easier on myself. And hopefully I can get rid of a lot of this because the products I'm going through today are only liquid lipsticks. I still have bullet lipsticks. I still have like glosses. I have like the pigment glosses, I have like lip tints, I have lip balms, I have lip treatments, lip oils, I have it all. And I have definitely overpurchased when it came to lip products and I really wanna sort this collection out. Now, before I begin, I do have organizers that I want to organize these in. And so I actually have three of these and these are from Sunny Cosmetics and they're liquid lipstick holders, so they're kind of deep but these are like perfect for lip glosses and liquid lipsticks and they hold a crap ton, I don't know. I'm gonna have to count this out to see how many it holds, but I have three of these. And then also, because I do have quite a few Jeffree Star uh, liquid lipsticks, I do have one of his organizers right here and that is where these products are gonna go if I, oh, I know for a fact I have more than that fits in here. So hopefully I can get rid of some where I, the only liquid lipsticks I have from Jeffree Star Cosmetics fit in this. So let's go ahead and change the view. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I have 47 of these, which is ridiculous. A lot of these are really, they're not wearable. And yes, they're eye safe, but to be honest, I'm not reaching for liquid lipsticks to put on my eyes. And I'm sure a lot of these are dried up and, and that is what I'm gonna be going through. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with what I believe are the oldest ones. Now, the ones with this red cap right here, these are from the Blood Sugar launch. That was years ago. This first shade right here is the shade Problematic. Um, this is a really pretty purple, but it is completely dried up. You can see it. I'm going to be decluttering this one. This one is in the shade Restraints. So it's like a metallic silver, almost like gunmetal gray. This one is also <laughs> dried up and needs to be decluttered. It's not as bad as the other one, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And then this one is in the shade Self Control. So this one is like almost a gray toned purple. Oop. And yet again, another dried up lippy. Now this one is from the Alien Collection. It is in the shade Hi, How Are Ya? And it is, is a really pretty red. I use the crap out of this color, but unfortunately it's dried up. Now, if they're all dried up, I am going to just declutter them. So this is in the shade YSOTP, and this is a metallic blue, also from the Alien Collection, and I will be decluttering this one. This is in the shade Jeffrey Who, probably dried up just like the last two, but yep, decluttering it. This is in the shade Triggered. This is going to be like a deep brown, if I'm correct. Yep, dried up. This is in the shade Clout. This is another metallic one. Um, yeah, it's pretty much done for. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Now, I used to love this nude lipstick. This is in the shade Can't Relate, and it is dried up. But if I'm correct, I believe I have one of these in my backup drawer. That's gonna be a different video, but this one is gonna be decluttered. This is in the shade Karma, another Alien Collection lippy. I'm going to be decluttering this one. 
So I believe this is the last one from the Alien collection that I have. This is in the shade Scandal. And this is also dried up. So this one right here is from a Halloween mystery box that's kind of old now, but I believe you can actually buy this in like a miniature trio currently on his website. At least during Halloween you could. And this is like a black liquid lipstick with gold flecks in it. I am going to be decluttering this. This is a lippy from the Thirsty Collection. This is in the shade Cherry Wet. I love this type of pink for the summer. I bet you this is dried up because I used the hell out of this one. Yep, dried up. Another one from the Thirsty Collection. This is the shade Soft Serve. It's a very nude pink and dried up. This one is in the shade Baby Daddy. You can tell like it's all like kind of cracked. <laughs> I'm assuming this one is also dried up. Yeah, that one's seen better days for sure. Another Thirsty Collection one right here. This is in the shade 818, and you can see right here, like this is probably dried up. Dried up. I think this one's like a Christmas shade, but it's also like part of the permanent collection. This is in the shade Poinsettia. This is a really pretty metallic red. It's also, it's thick and chunky, but I am gonna go ahead and keep it because it's not as thick and chunky as the other ones. So I will be keeping this shade. This is the shade Blow Pony. Um, you can tell like this is seen better days already because as it's coming out, it's hard to pull it out But it's just like It's chunky. This is a chunky lipstick that just needs to go in the garbage So this one right here is a mystery shade. So if I'm correct, this one came out in a summer mystery box I love this color for packaging um, This one's kind of thick and honestly, it's not a color I'd wear so I'm going to declutter it this is in the shade Pink Kitten. I believe this is from last year's Valentine Mystery Box, which I did unbox on my channel. Um, I'm going to be keeping this. This is a really pretty like metallic pink. Now this one is another like shimmery pink shade in the shade Diva. Yep, dried up. This is in the shade Bite My Lip. This is from like the Prick Collection. So this is a recent purchase. And this one seems to be good. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I also just really love like deep vampy lips. So it's a hard color for me to part with from any brand. This is the shade Watermelon Soda. And this one is also dried up. Eventually we'll get to lipsticks that are dried up. This is from the Thirsty Collection in the shade Huntington Beach. I, I'm i guessing this one's dried up and it is, but I would not be keeping it either way. This looks like it's a mystery shade from a Valentine's collection just because there is a heart sticker on the bottom. But this one, definitely is dried up so i will be decluttering this this is a pretty popular shade this is shade unicorn blood and this one seems to be in good condition still so i will be keeping this one this is the shade dominatrix it's a deep deep brown this one's still in good condition so i'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well now i think this is like one of the first shades that jeffree star ever came out with and this is the shade drug lord i'm going to go ahead and put this one in the maybe pile this is in the shade Thirst Trap. It's another one of those that are from the Thirsty Collection. Just because it's metallic and old, I know this is dried up, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. Now this is the shade Coral Fixation. This is such a beautiful orange, and I'm gonna be really sad to throw this one out, but I have a feeling this one's also dried up. Oh, and it is not. Okay, cool. So I will be keeping this one. So it's still swatched really nicely. Now this one is from like that Shane Dawson collaboration, like, you know, forever long documentary ad. Um, this is in the shade Jeffrey What the Fuck. This is a really pretty pink. I love bold pinks for the summer. This one is dried up, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. This one is like sticky, so already I wanna declutter it, but I am gonna open it real quick. This is in the shade First Class. Yeah, this is dried up. This is so pretty too, it's like a shimmer orange. This is in the shade Yummy, also from the Thirsty Collection. <sighs> it's dried up, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. This is the shade Scorpio, it's absolutely one of my favorite nudes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love cool tone nudes. This one's still great, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. This is another one of the nudes that I used to wear all the time. This is in the shade Calabasas. So it's like a pinky nude. I am gonna go ahead and keep it, actually. Ooh, it's kind of chunky. 
yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. This is such a pretty green. This is in the shade Mistletoe. And that, that's chunky. So I'm gonna go ahead and be getting rid of this. This is another Valentine's Mystery Box one. This is in the shade Cutthroat Love. And I'm gonna be keeping this. Ooh, another nude I absolutely love. This is in the shade Deceased. And this is a newer one, I can tell, because it's like the packaging isn't worn. So I'm gonna go ahead and be keeping this. I know that I have repurchased this one multiple times. Now this one looks like crap. You can see all the cracking on it. I believe this is in the shade Flamethrower. I mean, I'm just gonna open it anyway, but oh yeah, it's hard to pull out. Look how crusty that is. That is so gross that I've kept it that long. This is one of the other lipsticks that I own from the Shane Dawson collaboration. This is in the shade Are You Filming? This is a really, really pretty red. And it's still good, so I'm gonna be keeping it. This is so pretty. This is the shade Candy Ass. But she is chunky, even though like its swatch is actually kind of nice. I wonder if this metallic was supposed to be that chunky and I just can't remember. That is so pretty. Um, maybe pile. This is the shade Androgyny. This is another nude that I love so much. And let's see, it's kind of thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. This is from a Christmas mystery box. It's this beautiful, beautiful red um, with like really pretty shimmers in it. I am going to be keeping this. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm keeping it. This is the shade Celebrity Skin. Mm, that's chunky. I'm going to be decluttering it. This is the shade Diamond. This is honestly a color I would not wear and it's chunky anyway, so I'm decluttering it. This is the shade, oh, I have two deceased. So this one, this packaging looks so much older. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Another one from the Thirsty Collection. This is the shade Fudge Pop. It's a metallic brown and I'm going to be decluttering it. That is all my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I'm only keeping 11 out of 47. I do have two in the maybe pile, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that pile later. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to another brand. So these lipsticks right here are all of my Jaclyn Cosmetics lippies. Now, there's a chance that I'm probably gonna be keeping all of these because these are liquid lipsticks that I actually reach for on a regular basis. I know she's in heat right now, but the problem is, um, it's not really a problem. I've already bought these, okay? So I'm not gonna sit here and throw them away because she's being a little bitch, okay? But I'm gonna start off with these lip cushions. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these lip cushions. The color of the liquid lipstick does match the packaging. Um, I just realized now, it took me 20 minutes to film all of my Jeffree Star ones. I am not gonna be able to open every single one because I will be here for hours. So these lip cushions were launched with the Bougie Rouge collection. Uh, I'm actually gonna put all three of these in the maybe pile. I don't reach for these very often, so that's why they're going in the maybe pile. Now, these three shades launch with the Strawberry Dreams collection. I'm actually going to be keeping all three of these. These are very summery, at least in my opinion, even though she launched these like borderline in fall. This is the shade Juicy, this is the shade Strawberry Cake, and this is the shade Sugared. Now, these four lippies right here are from a Christmas collection that was launched in 2021. I absolutely love these. These are my, like, I grab these shades all the time. I know they're still good. And I actually have a backup of a few of these shades just because I love them so much. One of my favorite shades is the shade Bow. It's this beautiful red with pink undertones. This is one that I do have a backup of. And then another shade that I really, really love from this launch is the shade Stocking. This is a really beautiful vampy lip. I have a backup of this one. Now, these three reds were actually kind of a bit of a controversy. These are from those Valentine mystery boxes that she came out with before launching more products for her brand. Um, I'm going to be keeping all three of these. I'm a big fan of red lipstick. So I did do a video where I duped these if any of these colors like speak to you. Um, and I'll go ahead and link it, but I'm keeping these. These are the three nudes I own from Jacqueline Cosmetics Pout Spoken Collection. This one is the shade Feisty. This one's a deep, deep brown. This one is in the shade Be Brave. And then finally, the shade I'm a Cancer. I will, I will be keeping all three of them. 
And finally, these are all the bold shades I have from Jaclyn's Pout Spoken line. These two are the more orange toned ones. This one right here is the shade No Rules, and then this one down here is the shade Coming In Hot. And you can see the shades right through the packaging. These ones are the more pink shades. So this one right here is In Control. This is the shade Yes Bitch, and this one's I'm In It. So I really love this I'm In It shade. These two I don't use as often, but I am going to be keeping all three of these. And if you just watched my Marshalls haul, they have Jaclyn Cosmetics lippies and lip liners in there for like $4.99. So if you do like any of those colors, you can get them so much cheaper there than paying $18, $20 online. These right here are all my Kylie liquid lipsticks. Um, some of them are old. They're very old. I'm sure you can tell by the packaging that they're a few years old. And then some of them are actually brand new. I actually enjoy the newer version of the Kylie Cosmetics lip formula. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my three new ones because I'm obviously gonna keep them. So these are three shades I recently purchased. One is from the Christmas collection that just came out at the end of uh, 2022. And then the other two are just like standard shades that are in her core collection. This one right here is in the shade Bite Me. This one's a beautiful blood red. And I wear this one often. Like if you look in my video description, I'm wearing this in at least 70% of my videos. This one's in the shade Holly Berry. I picked this up at the beginning of this year. So I've only had it maybe two weeks, but this is a beautiful, deep, deep, bampy lip. And finally, this is a matte red that came out for the Christmas season. This is in the shade Dashing. And this is just a beautiful, Red. So I'm gonna do these four at a time just so that way I can hold the lipsticks. So right here, these are all hella old. I'm not even gonna open them because I know that they have gone bad, but I have a deep vampy lip here, um, a brownish red, a black, and a blue. So this one is Court K Declutter. This one is the shade Leo. This one is in the shade Dead of Night. This is the black one. And finally, the shade Freedom. These four, I am for sure going to be decluttering just because of the age of them. And also these two shades right here are definitely too light of a nude that I would wear nowadays. So this black sparkly one is in the shade K Majesty. This nude here is in the shade Malibu. This beautiful, beautiful green. If, I could, if anyone knows a green lipstick like this where it's like green with shimmer in it, this is the shade Trick. It is all dried up. I really like this color, but I'm gonna have to part with it anyway. And finally, the shade Libra. This is way too pale. I have seen pictures of myself wearing this lippy and I'm like, oh my God, who let me buy this? I'm going to be decluttering all of these as well just because of the simple age of them. So this bedazzled one was like a birthday edition um, because it's bedazzled, that's how I purchased it. Um, I obviously got a ton of use out of it because it's missing shit tons of stones, meaning it was sitting in my purse, meaning I wore it out. But this is in the shade Candy K. This is a Christmas one in the shade Dancer. It's a metallic red, I'm decluttering it. This is in the shade Vixen. I used to wear this all the time. I love those deep vampy lips, but I'm decluttering this. And finally, the shade Mary. This is from a Christmas one, and I'm unfortunately I'm going to be letting it go. So this was, um, I bought these like in a bundle. I think it was like a summer vacay collection. I can't quite remember, but I do know these are really old. I remember purchasing them when I lived on Lake Conroe. I have not lived on Lake Conroe in at least four years. That's a long time to keep some nude lipsticks, but this one's in the shade Command, the shade Naked, which obviously I half-assed bedazzled and then gave up at some point, the shade Bare, and finally the shade Birthday Suit. These are two more that I'm going to be getting rid of. This is in the shade 20, which I believe was released for her 20th birthday. And then finally the shade Junebug, which is a really pretty bright purple, but the age of them is just so, so old. So my last Kylie lip kit is in the shade Red Velvet. I just opened it. It still smells like vanilla and it still like swatches really nicely. I'll go ahead and show you real quick but I'm actually going to go ahead and keep this one. Okay, so these ones right here are a little bit of a mixture of different brands. So these ones right here are from Fenty. We got some NARS, Lunar Beauty, Give by Gwen Stefani, and some Huda Beauty ones. So I'm gonna start off with the Fenty ones. I'm actually going to be keeping all of these. Fenty Beauty's Stun Lip Paint is one of my favorite formulas when it comes to liquid lips. This is the shade Unlocked, the shade Underrated, the shade Unmatched, the shade Unattached, the shade Unveil, 
the shade Uncensored, which is one of my favorite red lipsticks ever. And finally, the shade Underdog. I love this shade so much. This is my fall go-to, and I have repurchased this, I believe, at least twice. So same with these Lunar Beauty ones. I will be keeping all of these. This one is in the shade Aphrodite. The shade Dreamsicle, which I believe is from the Strawberry Dreams palette, or his version of the Strawberry Dream. I can't remember what the Strawberry, the Strawberry Moon palette, who knows. The shade Wicked, which is a black liquid lip from uh, one of the Halloween launches. And finally, the shade Witch Bitch, which is also from a Halloween launch. These NARS ones are called the Power Matte pigments or something along those lines. I love the formula of these, but there's only one color I really love out of the three of these now. So this is the one I'm going to be keeping. It's the shade You're No Good. It's a beautiful hot pink, so I'm keeping this one. This is one I'm going to decl declutter. It's the shade Warm Leatherette. It's just too purpley for me. And then the shade Wild Night. This is a really deep purple, but like I prefer a deep purple with more red than blue. I'm going to be keeping all three of these. These are the liquid lips from Give by Gwen Stefani. I absolutely love this formula. Some people hate it. I love it. So I'm keeping it. Two of them I only just recently purchased in the middle of December. So this one right here is the shade Tartan, which is like a beautiful blood red. We have the shade Original Recipe, which is like that beautiful, bright, true red. And I also believe it's like based off Gwen's signature color. And finally, the shade Fishnets, which is a pinky red. So I have three liquid lipsticks from Huda Beauty. I believe this is a formula she's discontinuing and reformulating, so I'm only gonna keep the red. The shade Boy Collector is the only one I'm going to be keeping. This is the shade Boss, and then the shade Passionista, so I'm decluttering this one as well. Finally, I feel like we're getting down to the bottom of the pile. So in this pile, I have some About Face, ColourPop, NYX, Too Faced, Drug Cosmetics, and Lime Crime. I'm gonna start off with the About Face ones because I will not be decluttering any of these. And the reason that I won't be is I love this formula. It is so unique. It is so thin and so pigmented and doesn't dry out your lips. You don't get butthole lips. I, I absolutely love it. So this is the shade Last Goodnight. Shade Sarcat Sarcatuan, I cannot say that. The shade Fireside. The shade Take Aim. Cautionary Tale. And finally, the shade Night Sight. These two right here are from NYX. I actually picked these up trying to find like the perfect red. I was gonna do a video on like red lipstick and the perfect reds that I would recommend. Um, I never end up putting out that video and I still have the notes. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, go ahead and comment down below. But this is in the shade Sizzling. And then this one's in the shade Stamina. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these just because I only just picked them up in I think early December, late November. I have three liquid lips from ColourPop, two from Sailor Moon and one, I think just maybe part of their core collection. So these two are called the Ultra Blotted Lip. I like these. I have the shade Usagi, which is going to be this one. And then this is the shade Bunhead. This is a lip cream from ColourPop. I did get this in a mystery box. This is in the shade First Taste, so I'm gonna keep it because I've only had it since October. These three liquid lips from Too Faced, I am so surprised nobody ever talks about these. So these are the Lip Injections Liquid Lipsticks. These are fantastic. So they do have that lip plumping effect, but then it's also a colored lipstick. So there is a little bit of transfer with these. Um, they don't dry down to the perfect matte, but they're not drying either. So I'm gonna keep all three of these. This is in the shade Infatuated, Big Lip Energy, and finally Boom Boom Pow. I do have five from Gerard Cosmetics. I am gonna be opening these ones because I believe some of these are possibly dried out. So this is the shade Ruby Slipper. This is a really nice, pretty deep red with um, some sparkle to it. And I'm going to be keeping this one. This is in the shade Dream Weaver, and I'm going to be keeping this one. It is a little thick, but it still swatches really nicely. I did put it on my hand right here, so I'm going to keep it. This is in the shade Ecstasy. I am going to be decluttering this. I've had this for a very long time. I actually got this at a meet and greet that I went to in, I believe, 2019. So I went to a meet and greet at in the Woodlands, and um, it was like Rich Lux, Nick Snyder, and Nady, 
and this was like in a goodie bag. So I, this is dried up and it's no longer really my shade. So I'm going to declutter it. This is in the shade Share. And this is, mm, I'm going to put this in the movie file. Finally, the shade Wind Down. This is such a beautiful shade, but it is dried out. So I'm going to be decluttering it. Now, these five shades are from Lime Crime. I absolutely love their liquid lipstick velveteine formula, but I have a feeling some of these are dried out. This first one is the shade Red Velvet. I absolutely love this shade. This one is still good, so I'm going to be keeping this. This is the shade Wicked. I love wearing this shade with Red Velvet in the center of the lip. I'm going to be keeping that one as well. This is the shade Black Velvet. This one is still good, so I'm going to be keeping it. This is the shade Red Hot, so it's got like a shimmer to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the maybe pile. And finally, this is the shade Jinx. This is not a shade that I foresee myself wearing, so I'm going to be decluttering it. So this is the last of my liquid lipsticks. I have five right here, and these are all just ones that I own, like just one from the brand. First one right here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe I got this in a BoxyCharm. I'm gonna be decluttering it for two reasons. One, I do not like that color. And then the other reason is because I believe they are reformulating. And Anastasia Beverly Hills has some of the driest liquid lipsticks, or at least did. So this one right here is in the shade Ashton though. This one right here is from Lorac. I believe this also came in a BoxyCharm. This is in the shade Black Cherry. But like judging from up here, I've never used this. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to declutter it. This is from Dose of Colors. It is such a beautiful red. I love this lipstick. It is in the shade Date Night and I will be keeping it. This is from Revlon and I remember picking this up on my way going to the Golden Nugget last year and that was back in June. It is the Colorstay Satin Ink in this really pretty orange shade called Smokin' Hot. I am definitely gonna be keeping this. Look how beautiful that is. And finally, this is a liquid lip from Ofer Cosmetics. It's the long lasting liquid lipstick in Miami Fever. This is not a color that I reached to and it's so dried out <laughs> that it is just trash. These are my maybes. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. So the shade Drug Lord and the shade Candy Ass. Because I got rid of those two, I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep all three of these Jaclyn lip cushions. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Share, And I am going to declutter the Red Hot liquid lipstick from Lime Crime. All right, y'all. So I started this video out with 140 lipsticks. Out of those 140, which these are all the ones that I've kept, and I'll probably come up with a different way to organize my Jeffree Star Cosmetics slippies just because it is so bare and it's such a large organizer that I honestly don't need it anymore. But I kept 73 out of 140, which I'm pretty impressed with that myself. So there are 67 decluttered liquid lips in this bin right here. Unfortunately, these are all trash. Most of them are expired and dried up. But I think my next video is going to be my bullet lipsticks and my lip liners. There's a chance it would be longer than this one. I know this video is probably pretty long as it is. Go ahead and like and subscribe and stick around for part two. And until next time y'all, bye.